Hi guys, welcome back. This is video part 22. Now, in my last video, I showed you how I made freestanding steps, and I ended the video by saying we'd uh, work on the door next, but I actually have to put up two more videos before I do that because this tree is getting away, away on me, and I didn't realize I didn't update um, the rooms uh, for a while now, so it's going to get confusing. So this is the fourth floor. And you can see I've worked a lot on the bark. And I'm not ready to back up and show you the whole thing yet. I want, to, I want to show you the last room before I do that. So we have the first floor. That's the bottom floor. And this bark here is just tin foil that I've been gluing, hot gluing on uh, as I go. So it's just layers and layers of tin foil and then masking tape. And that's all it is. And then we have the second floor. It's not completely done yet either. The third floor and the fourth floor. And this one, it was heavily depending on the stairs that I put in here, so I couldn't uh, work on it all at once. But yesterday I was able to put on a final, actually this isn't a final coat of paint yet, but I was able to finish it up enough where I felt like I could move on. It has been a distraction to me, so I wanted to get this room kind of looking like it's done, even though it's not. Once I finish the top floor, which is this one up here, and that will be the next video, this one up here. I'm going to come back down here, and I'll probably be putting in ceiling beams. And if you're watching, Gina, yes, I've had a second cup of coffee today. <laughs> ceiling beams. And then I will probably be working on some color down here, too, because it's kind of like a blah color. But I did that on purpose, because this room has been such a distraction to me. I didn't want to look in here and see it looking unfinished. So let's do that. Let's go over this room together and it's a series of video clips that were taken as I was still building. So a lot of this that you see here won't look like this. But I do explain it as we go along. So let's head into video 22 and we'll go over this room here and how I put it together. Alright guys, you can see three floors. Already rocking out three floors there. Pretty happy about those. And we move on up here, and this is the very top box. Remember, I, I've had this sitting up there all this time, and I've never really decided what to do with it. I've decided to not use it at all, and I'll tell you why. I decided last night that I could get more space out of here, and I need more space up here for the family that I have moving into this tree. I need a lot of space. So what I've decided to do, what's add a floor in here, okay, in the same way I built the, all the hallways and everything. The front of this board is sitting on top of the box that's here, sitting on top of this area here, and then I have braces in the back that's holding this up. So now what I need to do is put in a ceiling, which is also going to give me another floor up there. And I can start the other floor by putting in a ceiling. Alright guys, I'm standing up on a chair and my head is almost hitting my ceiling. I just wanted to show you I attach these with hot glue and I remember when I first started I said not a good idea to attach things with hot glue and leave that as the only support that it has. So what I used the hot glue for was to hold this in place for me. Um, once I am done with these, these wood pieces are going to be one solid unit with this wall. And remember this wall here is actually the cardboard that I started off with. Remember way back when we started the series I had cardboard pieces up here. So I want to be able to take this tree down one day, so I'm, I need to make it all one unit. So that's, that's what I've been doing. I've been building it up like building blocks. So now I'm going to put a layer of masking tape. There we go. So now the, the uh, ceiling, or this floor here, is one unit with the wall. So even if that hot glue ever melts in the future, that ceiling is not going anywhere. So now I'll put a um, coat of drywall over the masking tape. Alright guys, we have drywall, a layer of it. I'm going to have to be patching some of this up, but I just wanted the majority on there so as I work now I don't have to put so much on and wait for it to dry. Alright, so you can see lots happened since those last a uh, couple of clips. Uh, the plank floor I covered in this video series. Uh, the stairs I also covered. Uh, they started off as freestanding stairs and then I encased them and then I built them into the wall. 
I'll throw in a couple of pictures so you can see what I mean. Alright, so I just, uh, after that staircase was built, then I just pushed it up against the wall, glued it in, and then worked some uh, drywall compound and also some clay around the stairs. And I have a couple of uh, video clips that I took as I was building this extra wall up here around the stairs. So you can see the stairs, um, when I put them into the wall, I put them kind of in the middle so I could have a space back there that will look like a door. It could be a doorway or a closet, I haven't decided yet. But it's a nice bit of space there, otherwise it would have been wasted in front of the stairs. So that gave us a nice little bit of interest there. So let's check that out. So I've started uh, the process of building this into what will look like it's built into the walls. And I had a hard time trying to figure it out in my brain, but I think I've got it. So I'm going to cover that tin foil now with some drywall. And then we'll go from there. Alright, so the beginning has started. <laughs> I really didn't have an idea what I was going to do, but now that I have this wall up there, and that's the drywall compound straight over the tin foil, I didn't put any tape on it, I am going to be adding a bit more up here along the ceiling, and I'm going to be enclosing these stairs even more. So I'm still working up here on the design. And I had thought of this when I first started building the stairs into the wall that I should have made some homemade clay because the clay um, is a lot more durable than this. You can see down here as I'm working with it, it's, it's just chipping away and falling apart. So I'm going to make some clay. All right, and then as I was building, I did put a hole into the wall and it leads out to a branch that I attached as well. This isn't done and I'm not ready to back up and show you all the tree yet, but this this branch continues on for a little ways. Um, I'll show you on the inside here. We can see up the stairs from this, from this angle, which is pretty cool. Uh, there's gonna be a door here and there's probably gonna be a walkout deck. I haven't decided yet. Anyway, there's a branch and it's all built with tin foil. There's no wires or anything in there. Uh, once I lined it with clay, this branch is very, very solid. So we got that happening and I haven't finished that area yet. Uh, like I said, built a lot of foil work out here and it's just foil that I've um, layered on top of each other to give myself a nice thick wall. Got a little window here. And then I was trying to decide what to do with this space over here because I also have another little uh, cubby up there which leads out to another branch and it continues up and it's lighted. Or I got wired um, lights in there already so it lights up at night time and I wanted something there so I added this little floor so I will show you. I took a couple clips of that as well so let's check that out. All right, I think I just figured out the rest of the, the uh, design for this room because there's so much dead space up here because even when I put the beds in here, there's going to be so much dead space up there and I want to use it up. So I'm thinking of putting a shelf right here. It'll be a little landing. There'll be steps going up to it. bracket. I did that because I could mold it to the wall and I hot glued it in place but I'm going to be adding paper clay over that once I get this hot glued in place as well. So this is going to be hot glued on top of that and then paper clay will be molded into shape all the way around the bottom and I'll put uh, paper clay on the top as well and then once it's dry this bracket will be solidified to the wall and it will never come off of there. So I'm going to turn the camera off and get to work and I'll come back and I'll show you what we got. Alright, and then today I've been working on those little bit of steps there and I just added some shelves behind it. I also took a video clip of that so I'll check it out. Because this is very very simple, although in the end I think it's going to look really really cute. So I just made two 
uh, cardboard triangles and I had to keep cutting them down. So um, I just taped the bottom and then put a little piece of tape there so I could just check and see how it fits. So now I'm going to get some clay. Alright, so I'm out of hot glue. So usually I would hot glue something on and then put the clay on and stuff to hold everything. Once the clay is dry, it'll it'll hold that shelf together. But I'm out of hot glue, so I'm just using masking tape. There we go. That's and what I'll do is I'll just stand it up against the wall and then I'll put the clay underneath here. So it'll be on the wall and underneath here as well. And then that will hold it. And I'll have these little pieces of tape there. Once the clay is dry, I can remove the tape. So once, once I got this into position, I put the clay on the bottom of the shelf and I kind of squeezed it all in very, very carefully. And I left it alone to dry because if I kept moving this around, then the clay wouldn't have set. So once that was completely dry, I set fans on it. Then I was able to put some clay up here. Clay on the underside of the uh, ladder itself and pushed it all into place a little bit right here and on the other side where you can't see there is clay along the wall and the ladder so now this is and I'm pulling on it pretty hard this is one piece with the wall and that's what I wanted so it took a little bit of effort but it's worth it if you can just if you have the patience to um, add the clay and then leave it alone for a bit so it was done in a couple of steps and <laughs> no pun intended done in a couple of steps and then uh, paint so this whole room now, I did. Add, I had a little tiny bit of drywall left in my bucket, so I just added it, and then gave it a paint job. And this isn't going to be the the final look of this room. I just wanted to move on to the upstairs room, the last room upstairs. So I just add the paint, so it's not a distraction to me when I'm looking. And then when I come back to this room, I'll probably figure out something about color, and then I'll be adding some ceiling beams and. Uh, things like that. So we're not done with this room, but now I feel like I can move on from it and go on upstairs, which I will uh, put in the next video. So that's it guys. I'm going to end the video here and as soon as the next one is available, which will be the final floor up there, it will be popping up on your screen. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.